My collection of hot cars, car info sheets from the 1990s started when I was on eBay and I seen one of the W210 E55. Now my collection has over 1,000 brochures and there's only one that I have two of. Of course, the mighty E55. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the options that the W210 chassis got. I have a couple of brochures here, so we're gonna dive in a little bit into these. And then I found some stuff online too, so I put together some graphics so we can kind of have a repository for all the different things. But we're looking at interior colorways, exterior colors, Dizinho options, and of course, wood trim. So let's get on into it. In this brochure, they tell us that the best-selling luxury import was the E-Class and that it was a lot of car for the money. And you know what? I think that still holds true today. Deeper in the brochure, we get to see some of the features that they had and they were showing how it had more options than the 430, like the 18 inch staggered wheels and the 5.4 zero to 60, along with suspension and brakes and leather to let you know that this is no ordinary E-Class. As a thank you for crossing 1,300 subscribers, don't forget I'm giving away this Bosch 010 intercooler pump. To get entered, subscribe, and comment below what AMGs you've either had or own or want to own in the future. Thanks, and back to the video. This hot car sheet does a great job of showing all the features and some of the technological improvements in the era, like better airbags, now antiquated electronic stability program, and Parktronic Assist. It's interesting to me how they call out the plastic headlights like it's some sort of interesting feature. Let's take a look at the colors. So I made a graphic here that kind of shows what it looks like in the brochure is compared along with what it looks like in the metal. We often see the more common colors like black, obsidian black, and brilliant silver metallic, but there was many more colors and even more overseas that aren't on this list. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at the wood. Now for the E55s, we got the black bird's eye maple, which as we know, turns like an olive light color that really, for most people, doesn't look too good as the years go by. So what I did was I got some Dizinho natural elements trim from a Dizinho car and put that in my E55 and I like that so much better. Speaking of Dizinho, there was also Dizinho natural maple and for the more standard E320s and E430s, you all got the burl walnut trim, which as we can see also gets really light as the years go by. I also want to take a brief mention here of the Dizinho cars, the actual paint and the interior and the wood were all Dizinho and that would be the Dizinho Silver Edition and the Dizinho Espresso Edition. So the Silver Edition had Dizinho Silver Metallic, which was kind of like a little bit more uh, different gold and it came with the natural maple wood trim and the Dizinho charcoal seats, which from what I can tell, maybe have a little bit more brown in them. Maybe one of you can let me know. And then there's the Dizinho Espresso Edition, which has the mocha black exterior paint and the natural elm Dizinho trim along with the awesome light brown Napa leather seats. All right, so let's look at the interior colorways. So for your standard cards, you guys usually got Java, Ash, Oyster, or Charcoal. Now there's also the AMG design charcoal and then there's the AMG design uh, charcoal with the gray, which is of course known throughout the community as Panda. So if you have a charcoal and green, charcoal and blue, charcoal ruby, or any of the Dizinho options, you've got a rare car and you need to hang on to it. I can't believe I've been searching eBay and some of the seats there are $2,000 for a set and it doesn't even include all the pieces. So if you can find that in a car, you've just got some added value right there. All right, so let's talk production numbers. For the E55, we got 1,104 in 1999, 1,203 in 2000, we got 653 in 2001, and 997 in 2002. Worldwide, there's roughly 12,000 E55s from all the sources I was able to look at. So overall, not too common of a car, but what's even more rare is the E50 with 2,870 cars produced for 1996 and 97. I should also mention that next year in 2023, the 1700 S210 E55 AMG wagons are actually going to be available for import. So be interesting to see who imports those. And uh, I expect to see that market rise up pretty sharply. Let's get a cold start. If you like these E55 AMGs or honestly any of the older AMGs, Consider subscribing for more content like this. Let's also not forget about the E36 AMG sedan that came out in 96 and 97. That had the 3.6 liter M104.995 that was found in the C36. 
They also had the E50 at the same time, obviously prior to the E55, and they also made an E60 and an E60 6.3. Now the E60 was a pretty gnarly car because it had the M119 engine, much like the E50, and that is a pretty well-known and well-loved engine. So they bored it out to six liters and it made 376 horsepower and 426 foot-pounds of torque. Now the E66.3, which apparently there's only two of in the world, it made 399 horsepower and 454 foot-pounds of torque with a zero to 60 they claim at five seconds. Now it's interesting because I think most standard E55s can get around five seconds. We'll be testing that out, but there's several indicators here that Boy, they were just this close for Mercedes to drop a V12 in. I mean, imagine if they made an E600. That would have been so awesome. Now, I know Brabus did, I think, with a 7.2 or 7.3 liter V12. But boy, I think that would have been such a model to have. Um, obviously, they wouldn't have uh, wanted to infringe on the S600 and some of those sales. But I still think that something like that would be pretty neat to drive. I may have gotten some details and information wrong. So sound off in the comments below. Even though I worked really hard on this video, I would still rather it be accurate and we're all friends here, so help each other out, and I would really appreciate it. And uh, thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye for now.